your communication is good mamta you have good sentences you have good thoughts in your mind so you can become a speaker in next 10 days confidence to talk in front of people you are coming here and talking to me so confidently you are replying on every statement it is commendable now you want to move your journey to effective speaker so effective speaker means proper good things about yourself that you love book and very good concepts also you gave me you know like television is helpful when you are sitting with people hi mamta hi. Very good afternoon good afternoon ma'am how are you i am doing good how are you yeah i'm also feeling fine thank yeah. you i love the pattern of your kurti symmetrical pattern i just love it okay, this one yeah Okay. Great. <laughs> great. So, how is the day so far? What did you do? Um, it was just fine, and I have done study only. <laughs> only studies, okay. So you must yeah. be reading about the topic. Uh, I was thinking, but I have done. I have not seen that topic, but I know only little bit type uh, title. Okay, great. And um, how is your recording and reviewing practice going on? Yeah, um, it is. Mm, yeah, I have seen last videos, and I am doing practice. Like I am reading aloud, uh, but in the way you are, you have told me. Okay, and also remember, I told you to record yourself for good three minutes in the morning, and review that recording. That what all things you are making the mistakes on. Try that activity also, which is taking a class before you. and uh, there's a lady who is almost like i believe uh, 45 or 48 maybe um she has a daughter who's a teenager and uh, she is a tarot reader okay and she works in a professional company as well so i was just talking to her and uh, she always had this vision or a dream in her mind that she wanted to become a public speaker okay So now, since she's a tarot reader and she has started taking people in webinars and seminars, so she was not very confident. So she stopped her business for a month and she took the classes, and not for a month. I guess it has been three months with her, and um, she has done this record and review practice recently. She started. I had been telling her from day one, but she did not do it. recently 10 days before she has started it and her webinars and seminars are again on she's feeling so comfortable while talking with people public so many people are asking question and now she is enjoying earlier she had this palpitation you know what if i am not able to reply what will happen oh i am a tarot reader how can i handle it because lot of people are joining somebody from london us usa canada singapore india so she was very shy and or i would say she was not very comfortable or she had these complex issues but now she is handling everybody and it is like she is happy to handle them so you know it's a transformation that she has seen in herself so i really want to do this activity uh, mamta recording and review just 3 minutes in the morning give to yourself okay 3 minutes in the morning 3 minutes in the evening after 12 hours do your second video so first oh. of all when you do it that one it and take any topic maybe you can take the same topic which we would be discussing today you can take the same topic talk to yourself as if you are the speaker you are the audience how do you want to project you must be talking to yourself in front of mirror about xyz things you know like sometimes we dance we look at our postures face expressions so we practice like that similarly you need to do it for speaking then review it your own recording and see your confidence is good or not or you are overdoing your expressions or they are less speech pronunciation grammar you will get to know in a gif because right now sarika gives you a feedback which will work 100% i know mamta is very hard working but now mamta is giving feedback to mamta so definitely it will work 200% correct so start this activity twice a day at least one in the morning observe yourself write your pointers that first to the video these were the observation and what was your observation in the second video like confidence was good grammar mistakes were less tone intonation facial expressions were good you know like that you can write good and mediocre points and bad points where you need to work on okay you see within 10 days mamta i can bet my life on this 
within 10 days, you would see the difference in your behavior and the way you talk and walk. Trust me, it is going to work. Okay? So now my life is in your hand, huh? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Today it is just, I'm just betting you 10 days. <laughs> Okay, so do you want to ask anything or shall we directly jump to the topic? Yeah, we can jump to the topic. Okay, so let's jump to the topic today. And um, if you see that PDF, if you have access to that PDF, if you open it, there are some vocabulary words, magazine, textbook, book binding, television set, television receiver, telecasting. Um, I want you to use these words while talking. At least you will become used to of these vocabulary words. Okay? Okay. Okay, great. So here comes my first question. The episode is started today. Okay. Which is better, books or television and why? Okay. So it is a little bit tough, but uh, uh, in my opinion, both are good because everything has two points. Uh, so we cannot decide individual but uh, in my opinion books are better than the television and both if we can decide it by their advantages if we have more advantages about books or television then we can define the book is better or television is better but for my opinion as I am a student so I love to read books more and more so I have seen a lot of benefits whenever we read any kind of books so it gives us mind pleasure or mind uh, it it grows our minds and mind and uh, it has us to understand the context whatever we are reading imagination power create imagination power and on the other hand if we see television it it physically as well as mentally mentally and it gives us like a relative. We can make relation with our family because we sit together and we can connect with our family. So I think both has uh, two coins. Like one coin has two sides, so we can say that they, this like this. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, let me feedback. You were saying, first of all, pronounce the word opinion. Opinion. Yeah, it's not opinion, it's opinion. Opinion, opinion. right? Second, pleasure. Pleasure. Yeah. Okay, so when you are speaking in a row, the pronunciation comes very different. So just deliberately mm -hmm. focus two, three, four times or otherwise change the word. Get some synonym handy, right? Okay. Is, um, you said everything has two coins. Mm -hmm. Every coin has two sides, right? Okay. This is what you wanted <laughs> to use, right? So it was like simply sometimes, you know, hum mahabra change kar dete, mohabra, right? It was like, kangan ko, kya, pade likhe ko yesterday I used this, you know, to somebody. Aat, uh, the, I was saying like, haat pair ko, arsi kya, pade likhe ko, arsi, farsi kya. It was like, no, it is not like this. Then they told me a real one. I was like, haan, yeah, yeah, whatever. So when you give these things in your sentences, whether it's proverbs, phrases, if they are not used properly, they would not put impact, Right. And okay. when they are speaking, effective speaking is important. So every coin has two sides. Then you said, for my opinion. No, in my opinion. Okay. I have seen a couple of times, Mamda, you use only one discourse markers. In my opinion, in my opinion. Why don't you use something else? According to me. Okay. You can use according to me. As far as my thoughts are concerned. Okay. I would like to say that. Okay, or to start with, to begin with, I want to say, sometimes make it simple also. I want to say, why I would like to say, why every time such a big phrase, sometimes big, sometimes small, because without small things, your jar is not going to be filled. If you put in one jar big stones, how would your jar be filled? You have to put some small stones as well so that it can be filled beautifully, right? Okay, so you need to work on this. Um, so in my opinion, as far as my opinions are concerned, um, according to me, let me start to start with or to begin with. Okay, you can use these. Hmm? Okay, 
rest it was fine in the end it was too confusing because you were putting two three things together always have one thought remember three i's i told you issue illustration and then invite other person to talk about okay this is a framework so issue is a question you have taken this question oh i need to speak better better books or uh, television and why and then you started putting examples. So suppose I am a student. So I love books. Books are very good for me. And I feel if I read more and more books, I would get more knowledge. But if I talk about my family time, then I would prefer to have television because we all can enjoy and talk. So again, every coin has two sides. So I think this topic also has two sides. So that is the reason. Books are better when I'm alone. But television is better when I'm with everybody. Okay. My next question, how do books benefit you in your daily lifestyle? So as far as my opinion, or according to me, uh, books are very beneficial for me whenever I get any free time or whenever I am alone at home or any, any place. So I usually read books. And it helps me to grow my mind as well as uh, it helps me to create new ideas or see the world, whatever is uh, or the opinion of others, the writer's opinion, author's opinion, and all the part of the book, whatever it is written. And it gives us like more idea to do more things in our life. So this is. It gives us more ideas. Ideas. Idea? No, it gives us, means sabko alag -alag idea milte hai, right? So we will have ideas. Secondly, oh. uh, in the beginning, you got a little bit confused, I guess. So as far as my opinion, and then you were like, no, according to me. Then you picked up another one. Because as far as my opinion is incomplete, you could have completed this as far as my opinion is concerned on this question. You could have said like that, okay? And also you said very beneficial. Very beneficial would not give more quantum than how beneficial. It is not going to show that. So either you can say that profitable, advantageous, valuable. You can use these words instead of more beneficial. If you feel beneficial is not satisfying what I want to say, use valuable, profitable, advantageous. Okay, you can say more advantageous rather than very beneficial. Okay. Don't use very in your line. Don't use it because very is a layman language. When we have nothing to say, when kids say, mom, this is very, very, very bad because they don't know any other word to express. How, why are you giving me this loki? Right. <laughs> okay. So let's move on to the next question. Does television play an important role in teaching good things in any way? Okay, so, uh, okay, so, well, I think that in the past time or in ancient time when we used to see the television with all together, so that, uh, so, so we see, we saw earlier time, so it was just like very beneficial whenever we see that thing in the past time. But now we, the structure of the television, uh, the structure of movies, film, and any social media, whatever related to television, so we cannot find the benefit from that because our uh, child or youth are just damaging their life by watching these kind of things. So in my opinion, earlier it was beneficial, but nowadays it is just going to be uh, very useless in this era. Okay, it is going to be, I'm sorry, very useless or it is not going to be very uh, less advantageous, uh, what you are trying to say. Which word could best suit here? It, even mm. if you say useless, useless is a very strong word. Useless is a very strong word. Okay, so that means either you can say pointless there's no point of watching television now because whenever you see it, you would find crime, violence, religious talks, which are not impactful on students. Of course, they are deviated from the path. 
or you can simply say unproductive. You can use the words like this instead of uh, what you said, uh, very useless. You can say pointless, worthless, in ineffectual. Yeah, ineffectual can be used. Unproductive or futile. Futile, F -U -T -I -L -E, F-U-T-I-L-E, you can use that. So don't use very useless now. You can use any of these words. Okay. Um, one line you said, earlier we used to watch television with all together. Okay. With all together. All together, it was a good topic. Means overall, it was a good topic. Like all together, when I say together. Okay. Ek saath bolu to ye meaning aata hai. All together, it was a good trip. Yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed so, I mean, our trip was fine. But you were saying that we all watched TV in the first time. Right? So, you can simply say we used to or we in earlier times, we would watch television serials together with family. There are so many serials. There were so many serials which we saw together with family. All together is not necessary. All together, see, your meaning will be different because compound words like bed time, bed time stories, right? It will be different in compound noun, you have added it, right? The meaning would be different. So don't use this at all. And um, okay, well, I think that, and then you started another one. No problem. There are too many indifferent pauses. So pauses are good, but it, at ineffective places, pauses are not going to show impact. Okay, so you can say, okay, well, um, I personally feel that, and then you could have started, because that is not going to go different. If you take all the pauses, the meaning will be different. Because some things are meant to be said together. Okay, if I say, get out of my room is dirty, what do you mean by get out of my room? It's dirty. Right? So see, what do you mean by what do you mean Right? So please follow that pauses wala fact. Okay? Let's have the next question. Reading makes you happier or does watching visual and graphics help you? Ma'am, could you repeat your question? Sure. I'm saying reading makes you happier or does watching visuals and graphics help you? Uh, for me, uh, graphics, visual graphics makes me like very helpful in my, in my context. Uh, visual art is just helpful for me. Because uh, whenever I do study, so if I get not point, if I do not get any point from reading, so I usually watch any kind of visual art or videos, audios that can make understand me. So I, I think uh, the second one is more easy than the reading books. Okay. Um, this pen is a pilot pen. It makes it helpful to write on cards. Okay. So it is useful to write on cards. Basically, this is the meaning, right? It is useful mm -hmm. for greeting cards. This is what I'm trying to say. But why, what I'm mm -hmm. trying to hold my nose like this, you know, it's painting. Yeah. It's no holding nose like this. I can simply hold it like this if I really want to hold it, right? So yes, ma'am. reading, sorry, uh, watching visuals and graphics makes me helpful. It will, how can it make you helpful? It will make the concept helpful to you, right? Now you're going yes. to... <laughs> yes. I'm so sorry, but I had to explain it to you other way around. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So that you can yes. understand. You are using passive, but the meaning is altogether different. So mm -hmm. you could have said, these contexts makes the... These visuals makes the con concepts helpful for me either this could have been a good statement right mm -hmm. this was not good and again second time again you made the same mistake make understand me it you makes either understand the situation or you make somebody understand the situation but something cannot make you under make me make understand me make me understand can be the right meaning 
right it helps me to understand make it easy mm-hmm. it helps me to understand the situation or the concepts well this makes understand me the situation na no this makes me to situ- to understand the situation better right so don't go to the other way in the concept to make it more uh, you know complex try to use simple sentences your communication is good mamta you have good sentences you have good thoughts in your mind but because of your sentence structuring and communication your communication is not becoming effective okay so you can become a speaker in next 10 days since i have bet my life so do it you will definitely find it helpful but secondly yes. you don't have to be a speaker you have to be an effective speaker one step up you're already a speaker you speak you have that confidence to talk in front of people you are coming here and talking to me so confidently you are replying on every statement it is commendable now you want to move your journey to effective speaker so effective speaker means proper grammar pauses what you say should actually mean what you want to say okay otherwise people will start reading in between the lines and jo aapne bola nahi wo log samjhenge so that can be a dangerous situation sometimes when you talk in public right easy yes ma'am okay so i hope you enjoyed today's topic mamta i really enjoyed it since yes. you went and you told me so many good things about yourself that you love book and very good concepts also you gave me you know like television is helpful when you are sitting with people and books are helpful when you are alone so i really love that point nobody has given me this point till now on this topic so this is really nice so that's all from my side mamta do you have any questions mm, no ma'am bas this one only but uh, the way uh, i want to say something that whenever i speak to any high educated people then i become little bit nervous i it happen usually i think so and whenever i talk to any youtuber or anyone for my practice so that time i i see myself that i do not make any kind of grammatical mistake it happen whenever i explain to you or whenever i, I explain front of any tutor tutor okay it happens no it happens it happens it happens okay. okay and why does it happen let me tell you also mamta it happens because um you know that you are going to talk something who knows the topic okay who knows the grammar part because over here when you are speaking you are here for your communication right right mm-hmm. now we, it is just a way that we have taken that we will communicate based on the topics so you also share your opinion and then we will talk about the topic and we will check the grammar so it happens this is called the complex issues okay sometimes we have complex issues that no how can i talk to her no no how can i you know if if you ask me to uh you know stand miss in front of mr modi and talk to him probably i'll go nervous because i just admire him like anything i really want to meet him once in my lifetime i really want to yeah. i really want to touch him okay but at the same time i know i would get nervous because he is something for me i feel that when he talks i would not be able to talk so this is complex issues so fear mm-hmm. and worry change it to trust and faith okay have trust have faith and then you see you would do wonders by the way previous three classes and two days class i can see a different confidence in you you are calm your anxiety levels are not very high today okay so you are calm that's a good thing and start recording and reviewing 10 days within 10 days with regular practice mentoring feedback you will find yourself in a different place i can i can vouch on this i have seen people okay. are changing okay okay hmm. thank, you, thank you ma'am have you got your recordings all the recordings yes ma'am you have okay so this one also you will get it today okay mm-hmm. see you okay. then take good care bye, bye. thank you